Blah, y'all already know what it is. Your boy, y'all call what it do. The outlet to reality. The whole this podcast in Vegas and Chicago. What up? This is the place where you want to hide from your drama or maybe hide from your baby mama. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyways, fans, thank you for staying tuned. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Cha-ching! And today we have a very special guest who is a TikTok star, a rapper. Give it up for Sarah Jane. What's up, girl? <laughs> What's up? I'm super happy to be here. Man, it was so hard, girl. I had to call a lot of contacts, you know, to, to get you through. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. Right? So, look, guys, for those who don't know, I met Sarah last year. It was like a, a birthday party, one of my friends named Jen. And it was at this bar. I forgot the name, Nurse Bar. There you go. You remember, you see? And yeah. so it was a lot of people. We got a lot of drinks for free. I ain't gonna lie. It was popping. And, you know, I'm getting to know everybody. And then I see this dude, really tall, long hair. And he was telling me, yeah, I'm from Chicago. I was like, yo, I got another brother. <laughs> And then he was like, hey, man, me, my girlfriend, she cool, too. And so I met his girlfriend, which happens to be Sarah. Dopest people ever. I'm not going to lie. The moment I met them, I hit it off really good. Uh, we took a couple, couple of shots and I was like, all right, man, we'll keep in contact, you know. And honestly, one of the best nights of my life. And uh, Sarah, I got to ask you, girl, what was your your first impression when we met? Okay, so funny enough, it was Jen's birthday party, and she is, like, the nicest person ever. I did not know her before that night. I actually knew the bar owner, and it was her friend, too, so that's why she was having her birthday party there. Um, so I walked in, and I didn't know anybody, and, <laughs> um, and he was just like, these are my friends. Go hang out with them, and I was like, okay so then I was at this birthday party and everyone knows everyone and I don't know anyone and then you were like the first person to come up and talk to us and you were like super energetic and very just easy to talk to it was a great night you made it you made us feel very comfortable uh and we had a great night got a little too drunk <laughs> <laughs> thanks man I, I really appreciate that and, and, for, and for those who don't know had a little reunion like maybe was it two months ago it was it was in february end of february end of february he hits me up and said hey we're gonna celebrate my boo's birthday i said like, oh snap she's like i'm gonna come down to vegas you know let's link up so we all linked up and we went to the same spot where we first met and the owner i forgot his name i can't think of which is jen's brother you know what were we gonna say? He'd say his name's Johnny. He did say it was his sister. I was like, that's crazy. They yeah, don't, they don't look alike. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but it was so cool because like when we had a reunion, he gave us so many shots. It was like about seven shots or six. Holy crap! I don't even know. <laughs> it was so strong. I was like. <laughs> I couldn't finish it. Oh man, it, it was so funny. We were outside. We um, and it was funny. They were playing some Spanish music, and I asked her to dance, <laughs> and she's like, "Nah, I'm good." And I was like, "Dang!" <laughs> that night was there was like a lot of crazy stuff going on. Though we were just up and down Fremont, and there was like a concert going on, but it was like. A multiple stage concert so like as we kept walking there was like more and more stages and we just danced all the way down it and back For real, no, we did. <laughs> <laughs> oh man no it was good times i'm really happy and uh hopefully we can link up again or I, you know i come through arizona we all linked yeah. up you know arizona it's about to get really hot here but i'm pretty sure it's the same weather there so oh, it's horrible <laughs> Me and Brian's been taking me jogging up the mountains out here on hot days to get used to the heat for the summer. So, right. <laughs> oh, man. How do you feel? How do you feel? <laughs> you know, honestly, 
I think he made it sound worse than it was because once I actually did it, it wasn't that bad. But I'm also not much of a cardio person, so we'll oh, see. Wow. I haven't done the hard one yet, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man no that's too funny girl no i'm i'm happy y'all still strong man it's beautiful um i gotta so i gotta ask you girl you know all my fans your fans they want to know a little bit backstory so tell us a little bit about like your hobbies um if you were born and raised in arizona or like you know your you know what neighborhood (laughs) um well I actually did just move to Arizona. So um, right when you met me, I had literally just moved here like a a little bit before that. But um, I was born in Canada. So I'm actually Canadian. Um, I was mostly, um, I moved when I was young to the US for my dad's job and grew up in California in San Jose. And then until like, I was like, eight or nine and then I moved to Ohio for a couple of years and then I lived in Washington state and then I moved back to California for like end of high school and then I moved back to Washington state for a number of years and then I just moved out to Arizona like beginning or like mid June of last year so whoa yeah I did not know All you over. Were... <laughs> <laughs> over but I feel like it gave me a really good perspective on, like, how different things can be. I haven't gone to the classic, like, party in Vancouver. Everyone does that. But I have partied in Edmonton with my cousins. And it was a very fun time, you know? I've also gotten crazy in Vegas way too many times. So, I don't know. I guess it's just, like, what you're doing for the night, you know? Vegas is more, like, Obviously, it's different for people who live there, but I just go on way too many weekend trips there. So for me, it's just like a crazy weekend. And then like, I don't know, Canada's like, first of all, they have like really good dispensaries. So if you smoke, it's nice out there. Um, And yeah, I don't know. It's very fun. Like local bars and stuff are a lot of fun out there. Yeah. yeah, I don't know wow. where I even fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, do you remember any stories you can think of, like a crazy story out there, either in Vegas or Canada, that you can remember? That I can remember? I have way too... Oh, here's a great, great story from Vegas. This is like, this was a good time. It was my birthday. Um, I spent a number of birthdays in Vegas. It was my birthday and there was a locals open mic night for like locals to perform their own um, music and stuff. And like what they've created, like um, it could even be like spoken word or anything. It was just like open mic. And I knew the person who was hosting I know a lot of venue owners out there were just like, I don't know, whatever promotional work I was doing for like five seconds. <laughs> but um, so anyway, so I knew the venue owner and he was like, yeah, I was like, yo, it's my birthday. I'm in Vegas. Like what's going on tonight? And he was like, open mic night. Um, and I've always made music. I've always like, uh, my singing singer rap. So um, I was like, put me on the list. <laughs> so he put me on the list I showed up already drunk and I got up on stage I like sat there it was a super fun time the the performances were amazing and then I got up on stage a little too drunk fell off the stage oh my god got up on stage (laughs) and then I wasn't even performing my own music. I was just like, this song was stuck in my head. It was not the not not a good choice, but I did it anyways because it's what I wanted to do and it was my birthday. Um, and sometimes <laughs> I use birthday as an excuse to do whatever I want to do. So, um, but yeah, I got up back on stage and I sang just one verse of a theater song, a cappella, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> 
oh, <laughs> everyone man. loved me, but I was clearly a little drunk to be on stage. Yeah, man, that's that was <laughs> a wild story. <laughs> it was very fun. It was a good time. It was a great birthday. So. <laughs> oh man no that's too crazy man that's a good one i i never heard that one that's a this is something different what about canada yeah. you you got one about canada oh i don't know i have i mean i haven't even been out there and like oh you know what this was actually just like a family barbecue but uh me and my brother went out there and it's just like crazy i feel like people out there just like go harder you know they just go way harder you know I was out there with my family and it was like 50 of us probably for like a family reunion that apparently they do every year but we never went to it before my grandma was like you guys got to come out here for the reunion but we like all had just like turned 18 whatever we're adults so they were like yeah it's your choice now because I guess my parents were never taking us there and yeah, it was like we started the reunion at 4 p.m. And by 8 p.m., me and my older brother were both in the basement, like totally sick, like already way drunk, could not keep up. And it was like my 50 year old, like, I mean, they ranged in age. It was anywhere from like 20 to, to 80 year old family members, all of them just all night. Me and my brother were back at the hotel by 8 p.m., 8.30, and they were up until, like, 3 a.m. They were, like, lighting fireworks out of their mouth. They were, like, noise complaints. Um, so it was just crazy because, I mean, I've done a lot of partying all over Vegas, all over Seattle, all over Arizona. So it's just, like, you know, California. It doesn't matter. But to go up there and see how much harder they go, I was, like, what <laughs> i thought i would i could not even keep up with my six-year-old great aunt so wow. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was crazy that was crazy that was that, man you guys must have had a really good turn up you and your brother how old is your brother is he like younger than you i have two brothers one's younger and was older but i went with my older brother that time so he actually just got engaged to my best friend since I was 10 years old. So Whoa. super very excited about it. That's what's up. So now he, you you gave him your blessings because he's dating I, one of your best friends. <laughs> I, you know, I remember the day he asked me, we were like working together and he was like, I think I'm gonna ask Kira out. Does that sound okay? I was like, I think you should definitely ask Kira out. And then like five years later, here they are getting married. So Dang. yeah very exciting we just went i just flew to seattle to go wedding dress shopping with her just got back to arizona so dang and what about what about you and, and, and mr boo are, are, are y'all coming soon or you, maybe We're next coming. year what's happening <laughs> we, no i'm kidding um he <laughs> Uh, we're actually coming up on our one year anniversary in like a few days here so may 8th so so you want to wait a little bit, maybe like a couple couple years, maybe seven or? Yeah, I mean, I don't know where he's at. I can do it anytime. But <laughs> <laughs> this um, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. I do think that for guys, sometimes we we kind of we're very. I'm gonna be real, like speaking of me as a guy. I feel like sometimes we could be kind of slow at moving the process to the next right. level. <laughs> you know well, he's also, you know, he's a little bit older than me too. So it's like, well, <laughs> wait and see. I don't know. Oh, but man. Everything's great so far. So I'm not worried about it. Yeah, yeah. You, you're still young. So you still got time, girl, you know. Um, I, I gotta ask you, so girl, you know, your TikToks, by the way, are so hilarious. I think my favorite ones is when you do the coffee TikTok, when you're showing how you make your drink. You're like, yeah. what's up, TikTok? <laughs> it's a stupid one this morning. I haven't even made one in a while. So I hopped on TikTok this morning because we were doing this interview. I was like, let me go check it out again. And I immediately saw this video. And it was Little Rascals. The sound they were doing it to was Little Rascals. And I love that movie. So I just had to do it. 
too even though like everyone else who made that video had like five people in their video and I just like did it by myself like going back and forth but I was like oh well <laughs> I wanted to use the sound oh man but, well I was gonna say how did you get I know one of your videos reached so many views like a lot girl and what do you think is your secret on getting so many views honestly I don't think there's any crazy secret. I think um, the best thing to do would to just be have fun with your videos, you know, just have fun making them. And, and if they, if people like it, they like it. If they, I don't know what the algorithms are doing or all that but you know it's just like i don't know the, i felt like the most popular videos that i had um like because after i had a couple popular videos i had a couple like sponsored videos right and like those were horrible <laughs> they, i like to spend so long making them they were so hard to make and then like they didn't get that many views but all the videos where i was just having fun or like bored and making a video those were all the ones that like were very popular so and how did you get those sponsors? Did they just reach out to you like, hey, can you do a video on us or their product? Yeah. So actually at the time I had um, an Instagram. I've changed my Instagram page since then. But um, uh, at the time, my Instagram tag was the same as my TikTok. So um I had a couple companies reach out to me on my Instagram because I don't think they can message me on TikTok. I have like private messaging on or something. So they can't message me unless I'm friends with them. So nobody can message me on TikTok. So they messaged me on Instagram <laughs> and they were like, hey, we want you to do a TikTok video. Like we'll pay you this amount and then you just do this. And then, yeah. So it was like a whole thing. And then they sent me, they emailed me the products, which I was so excited about. So honestly, yeah, it was really nice. I like free stuff. I'm a big fan of free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so that was super fun. I got the like um, cloudy. I don't know if you've heard of cloudy, but they did like little melatonin diffusers, um, like for sleeping. And they sent me like the cutest little eye mask to sleep with. And um, it's like satin eye mask and like a bunch of little diffusers. And they work really well. So that was cool. Yeah. I lost them. I don't know where they are, but <laughs> I moved like 12. Like them, so. <laughs> oh, man. But it... Dang, that's pretty dope. That's really, really but... dope. And I did, a, I did like a fitness, a sponsorship with like a fitness company for a while which was pretty cool because I got a bunch of their products too. You gotta tell me, you gotta spill the beans. So I know you've been rapping, girl. So you gotta tell us a little bit like what got you into rapping? Well, I've always loved to make music since I was like little. I was always singing um, and trying to write my own songs, even though like, uh, my mom dug up like an old song book I had from when I was like five or six or something. It was horrible. <laughs> um, or it was like, no, I was like six or seven. And yeah, she read them back to me. I was like, why would you do that? <laughs> but, um, but no, since I was little, I always loved to make music. So, um, you know, rapping was just another part of that for me. Uh, it's just as it's something I can do. So, you know, I've never been so good at the instrumental side, but as long as the, as far as the vocals and like writing songs and everything, not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at it. So, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, yeah. So it was just like, and I, I don't know, I have the ability to talk fast and not breathe, and con I don't know, good breath control. I have good breath control, and I don't know. Yeah. It's always been fun for me too. I think I really like the reaction. I think my favorite thing in the world actually is like people's reaction when I tell them I rap versus when they hear me rap. Cause I always get the same kind of reaction when I'm like, Oh yeah, I rap. And people are like, okay. You know, they're like, cool. And then they hear it and they're like, Oh wow. You know? So it's like, it's always a fun, 
uh, thing for me to be able to. When someone like gives you that look, like really, but then you like treat their life, you're like, dude, I could spit bars. <laughs> right. um, yeah, I feel like you know, right now with the rap industry, I feel like there's not a lot of women, except for like you know Cardi B, you know she's big, Nicki Minaj, but like. We need more women to come back, like to bring that old school hip hop vibe, you know, like that we miss, you know, like I feel like it's still there and we just need to bring it back. Cause I'm gonna be honest, when when Iggy came out, right? T.I. signed her, I was so happy. I love all her music, you know. I well, I forgot what it goes. It's like I G G Y Y. So I forgot. Dang, it's so sad. I should know. I can't even remember it either if I tried. It's been a minute. (laughs) (laughs) But it breaks my heart because she has so much potential. I was really rooting for her, like, for her to be, like, the next, you know, almost like the next new big, you know, wave. And she was. I feel like she had that fire. And then it kind of, like, she left. And then she tried to come back. But it's not the same energy it's sad right right I definitely for me I just work at my own pace you know a lot of people like uh when I show them my music they're like you need to do this and you need to do this and you should do it like this to make it more appealing to these people or whatever like that but I don't know I just work at my own pace I write my songs how I want to and and I work on them until they sound exactly how I want them to. And then I think they're perfect and I can care less what people think about them. So, yeah. But most people love them. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good, girl. That's good. And, and tell us a little bit, like, your any, you know, moments when you performed, like, for a crowd? Any stories? Yeah. So um, I used to work with an entertainment company up in Seattle um for a couple of years and we would host like um I don't know performances for like um everything I don't know everything we would host it's an entertainment company we would host everything so um pretty much anytime we're hosting a performance or anything I just throw myself on the card and just go perform whichever song I was working on at the time you know um so that was super fun to always get um be able to get up on stage and have a positive reaction to my music and and um and I feel like when I was younger like I would always like oh I want to have a reason to be on a stage I want to have a reason for like you know to help have a microphone and then it was just like oh you just have to make your own moments you know if you want to perform and you want people to hear me your music go do it you know there's open mic nights there's the internet post it no regrets <laughs> i mean it's, it is hard going in front of a crowd to rap or to give a presentation of of anything like what was your feeling like how how are you able to to do it without like you know passing out you <laughs> see right actually it's so funny because I actually used to be very shy like I'm hyper I got a class presentation it's only five minutes long I'm hyperventilating I've been crying for 20 minutes thinking about it you know like crazy shy um and then I think kind of one day I just realized I don't care what anybody else thinks so I just yeah if I want to get up on a stage and sing I will get up on a stage and sing if I want to get up on a stage and dance, I'll do it, you know? <laughs> so, and I think um, it always, you know, just having that confidence in yourself, it always gets a positive, as long as you're not, like, overconfident and, like, rude. But, like, as long as you're just confident and having a good time, um, I think it really rubs people the right way and you always get a positive reaction. So just encourages you to keep doing it. I like that. I like that. that was really deep. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to be honest, um, you know, back in the days, I used to have, um, I used to do stand up, and when I did it, I remember my first show. Right, 
man, it's so it was so bad. I went up and I tried to give like my best pitch and and right. And I'm not gonna lie, I was really like nervous. I was like, man, I, I might need a beer, man, or something, because it's a big crowd. And so I will go to the bar, get myself a drink. I'm like, all right, man, I think I got this. And I'll go up there. My heart was beating, of course, right? Do, do, do. Like, oh, don't oh. mess up. You <laughs> see? <laughs> and I did it. And I was like, man, nobody laughed. And at the end of the show, the one guy laughed. And I was like, bro, that wasn't funny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was sad. But I feel like the more you and more you do it, you start getting comfortable with yourself. You start, um, you know, like you said, I like that attitude, like not caring what people think. Right. If I think it's funny, I think it's funny and I'm going to say it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, man. Um, he called me last night and he was telling me something um, about, he's like in this statistics class and he was telling me about this equation. And he was like, it's so funny, blah, blah, blah. And he just starts reading the equation to me. And I'm like, this is not funny. This is just an equation. And then he, the more he read, it was, it actually, it was quite funny. It, it went on for so long. I could not believe it. it was just, it just kept going. But, um, but the more he kept trying to read it to me, he was like hyperventilating, laughing. And then at that point, it was just hilarious. I was like, you're still just reading a math equation, but you're laughing so hard that I think it's funny. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, man. No, that's what's up. That's what's up. So the biggest question of all time. <laughs> yes. So how do you feel about when people text you, right? Let's say you know, they don't get back to you or you call them, right? A really close friend or maybe somebody you met to. Do you feel like one has really an excuse to not text you back? Or do you think that, you know what? If they don't have time, they don't have time to text you back. What's your theory? <laughs> you know, honestly, it's actually crazy that you asked that. Because I moved out here last year with a friend. You don't know this friend. <laughs> because one day she did just stop answering my calls. We moved out here together and everything. Uh, and yeah, she just stopped picking up the phone one day for no reason. Because last time I saw her, I was like babysitting her daughter. And then we were like, yeah, see you later. And then she just didn't pick up my calls, didn't answer my text for like a week. And then I was like really worried about her. And then I saw her Snapchat story and it was just her at home. I was like, oh, okay. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just like, it's just what people want to put their energy into. Um, I'm not a huge texter in general. So if someone doesn't text me back, I'm not offended, you know, but there's a difference between not texting back and ignoring basically is what I'm saying. Long winded, <laughs> you know, there's a difference between ignoring someone or just being not texting back, you know, cause I'm not a huge texter. Someone will message me and I'll message them back a month later and I'll be like, my bad. But like my closest friends, they know that, you know, and they do honestly, most of them do the same thing. Like, um, they'll message me and be like, we should hang out. And then it's like, a month later, we're, we're hanging out. But it's just like, you know, it's like we hang out every day because we're just, you know, we don't have to be weird about like, they didn't call me back. They didn't do this. You know, it's no like animosity towards each other. It's just like, we, we get together when we have time. We all have our own lives. So um, we get together when we have time and we make it a good time. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, did you ever find out why she ignored you? Was she jealous? I have no clue. Okay. Honestly. If we're getting down to it, I think she was, but I'm not going to dive too deep into it. But, and then, yes. You're like, I'm the better one. <laughs> Sorry, but I kind of got my shit to beast, you know? That's um, it. So, so look at this. My theory, you're going to love this. My theory is that no one has an excuse 
to text back. And I'll tell you why. Only three people I give an excuse. The mm-hmm. first one, if they're a full-time police officer, always on the call, and they got to go and save the day, right? Second, mm-hmm. a doctor. Because they're on the call. They got to go. Uh, yep. You know what I'm saying? And the last one, I'm going to give it to the one that can his bills. So the phone is off. So you never got the text. <laughs> you never got. Right. Uh, okay. What about the one who loses their phone all the time? Because that would be me. I lose it too much. Actually, when I met Brian, um, we had met at a barbecue and we made plans for the next day. And I was actually on vacation here before I moved here. Um, we met at a barbecue and then I was on vacation here. And we made plans for the next day. And then I lost my phone that night. And we never hung out the next day. And then I went back to Seattle. And I found him on Facebook because I didn't even have his number because I lost my phone. I found him on Facebook. And I messaged him. I was like, hey, it's me. Sorry I bailed. <laughs> and and everything still worked out. So, yeah. Wow. Okay, so I I let you slide, girl, because you lose your phone. But it's, I really I can't. But I'll but I'll I'll message you back eventually. You know, I lost my phone. I went up. I went all the way home. I got a new phone like a week later. Still messaged back. <laughs> right. Oh man. So so check this out. So the reason why I don't give people excuses when they're like, it just I, I, I can't find my phone. Um, I don't know where it is. I'm, I was busy or I'm tired. This is my theory. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. When you wake up, you unplug your phone. So you look at it. So you're going to see ding, 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 ding. Notification, notification. You know what I'm saying? Um, when you go to the bathroom, you bring your phone, right? And sometimes people check. Ding, ding, ding. So you know what I'm saying? Um, when you go inside your car, you hook it up to the car, the phone, and you check your phone. Ding, ding, ding. You know what I'm and go home, and you're like, dang, I got to charge my phone. You plug it back in, and you get the ding, ding, ding. You know what I'm saying? So I always tell people, ain't no excuse. I'm sorry. <laughs> I also think there's a huge difference between like um, when people are like, like, I really don't care if someone doesn't want to spend their time texting me back all day. That's fine. You know, Um, but I think there's a huge difference between when people are like, oh, my bad. Like I was uh, doing this, this or this and this, you know, couldn't couldn't look at my phone or when they're just like, my bad. Saw your text. I was busy, you know. Like when they're like truthful, like, oh yeah, I saw your text. I was busy. Or when they're like, oh, I was doing this, this, and this. But you know, they weren't. I'm like. (laughs) (laughs) Cause here's my thing. Here's my thing, girl. Like I gotta be real with you. If it takes a second or two seconds to post a video on Snapchat, why? (laughs) And it takes the same amount of energy to text someone back. How come they couldn't text you back? very true oh yeah exactly if they're posting oh if someone's posting no they should text you back i don't care who you are (laughs) (laughs) see i knew you were smart (laughs) you (laughs) see yeah oh that was dope i like this combo it was it was dope it was deep it was deep so (laughs) thank you thank you for for being on girl i had so much fun i love your energy i think you're a great storyteller so don't lose it for fun time too. Thank you for having me on the podcast. When I got your message, I was like, yes. So very excited. <laughs> it was an honor. <laughs> it was an honor. <laughs> so look, I'm going to, I'm going to wrap it up guys. This, this is the outlet to reality. The whole this podcast in Vegas in Chicago every Tuesday. Don't forget to check us out on Spotify, YouTube, and Apple Music, the Outlet to Reality. My TikTok is at Yakov28, and my Snapchat is Take One Pass It. And Sarah, where can my fans find you? 
They can find me on TikTok at official underscore Sarah underscore Jane or on Instagram at juicy double Y Lucy double Y underscore L O O.